So MFOX is the uh, Mounted Family of Computer Systems, or MFOX for short. It's the core capability of the mounting computing environment for the U.S. Army. It's really the keystone, um, I think, as part of the modernization effort for improving the, the network and cyber capabilities, particularly at the platform and mobile command post level. The current mission command program or record hardware can address many of the Army's modernization goals today. The Army can leverage this hardware to accelerate modernization and reduce cost and low technical risk. Uh, MFOX fills critical capability gaps today as an advanced capabilities bridge while the Army is progressing towards their objective requirements. The key benefits of leveraging the program of record hardware is reduced uh, size, weight, and power and cost. It's agnostic to any operating system. It's agnostic to any software. It's agnostic to any waveform and speed to the field. And it offers flexibility to support multi-domain operations and warfighting doctrine. Uh, that's emerging today with expandability for tomorrow. It's important for soldiers because it's the principal computing capability on uh, the majority of the platforms in the U.S. Army, well approaching 200,000 platforms for Blue Force tracking, for Joint Battle Command Platform, or JBCP. And I think the next biggest thing that's been improved is improving upon the cyber protection at the hardware level uh, that MFOX-1 had and now MFOX 2 has taken out and taken more lessons learned and things that, that we've learned uh, from in combat and in theater and uh, emerging uh, threats uh, that we're seeing from around the world and we've incorporated that into MFOX 2. The cyber piece is really important at, uh, for MFOX and specifically we're talking at a hardware level because there's been a lot of work being done with cyber and typically even in your home computers, you know, there's cyber protection that happens in the network, right? The cyber protection happens on the software associated with your computer, even, even your home computer. And a lot of that's been done in the military also. What hasn't been done is going down into the board level and protecting things like our BIOSes so that some sort of adversary cannot get into your hardware if he's able to bypass or get through the network somehow or bypass your safety your protocols in your software. So this is another level of protection and the way that DRS does it is unique. 